My name is Sloan Wright, and today I will be informing my audience about the connection between sleep and our immune system. As many of us know, sleep is a very important aspect to our life, and the average person spends a total of 26 years sleeping throughout their life, making this state of consciousness very important to our well-being. Studies have shown that sleep is directly connected to our health. The scholarly article, Sleep and Immunity, by Saras J. Motivala and Michael R. Irwin displays a plethora of ways that sleep is connected to our immune system. Sleep is correlated through our central nervous system and can be measured through brain activity, muscle tone, and eye movement. We go through different stages of sleep, and these stages can be characterized through non-rapid uh, eye movement, or in REM sleep, and rapid eye movement, or REM sleep. These aspects of sleep are linked to our health and uh, directly affect our immune system. Our immune system displays a collection of defenses against harmful cells, such as tumors, and can be broken up into specific um, branches. Non-specific immunity focuses on general response to bacteria, while specific immunity emphasizes specialized responses. Now, cytokines are molecules in our body that uh, interrelate both nonspecific and specific immune responses. There are multiple cytokines that participate in crosstalk between our brain and our immune system that actually control our immunity responses. The various branches of our immune system also affect our sleep habits. Now, sleep habits are extremely important to our mental and physical health. A common uh, issue that people uh, see with sleep habits is sleep deprivation. And as a result, our immune system is severely tarnished by this. In animals that experience sleep deprivation, an extension of deadly uh, bacteria from the gastrointestinal tract was found. An animal um, with a weak immune system from sleep deprivation cannot defend against these deadly bacteria and uh, as a result died within three weeks of the experiment. Even if someone experiences small amounts of sleep deprivation, their health is at risk. Um, an experiment conducted stated that sleep deprivation of four to eight hours is associated with natural killer cell activity. That being said, poor sleep is not to be taken lightly, especially impaired sleep and clinical sleep conditions. Insomnia is one of the most popular sleep disorders characterized by continuous bad sleep and affects our function during the day. Studies show that people with insomnia have damaged natural killer cell activity and uh, display poor sleep quality as well. Research demonstrates that people uh, with poor sleep often have depression and 90% of these people uh, diagnosed with depression experience difficulties falling asleep, frequent waking during the night, and early morning waking. These studies also show that alcohol dependent uh, patients exhibit poor sleep even during temperance, thus inferring that um, impairments are not only motivated by alcohol, but also by poor sleep. These illnesses can be treated, and many people have overcome various sleep disorders. And although this may seem like a lot of negative information, the fact of the matter is a large percent of our population experiences uh, poor sleep and their immune systems suffer. Overall, uh, sleep drastically affects our immune system and we must take this very, very seriously. So the next time you're in bed at midnight on your phone, just remember that whatever you're doing at that time, you can do that anytime, but the sleep that you lose, you cannot get back. So please get some sleep because if you don't, you will regret it. Thank you.